Hello, the Mining Maniac here with Motech.com and uh, today I'm bringing you some uh, character customization from Guild Wars 2. This is the first beta weekend and uh, uh, this far I'm uh, really really pleased with uh, the game and uh, first off let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a char and then we'll uh, get a human video and then a Norn video. Um, so let's choose male and um, yeah so here you have the eight classes elementalist kind of like a mage uh, uses these um, elemental magic uh, powers uh, either air earth fire and so on and uh, pretty basic and uh, this class was also in guild wars 1 uh, so should be a bit familiar uh, you have the warrior of course uh, very very standard uh, let's just read here warriors are master of marsh martial skills they rely on speed strength toughness and heavy armor to survive uh, so there you have it and they wear heavy armor you have the guardian uh, also wears heavy armor, kinda like a paladin, except in uh, Guild Wars 2, everyone can heal, so there are no healers. Um, so that kinda makes the instances and uh, group quests and stuff uh, a bit different. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, they specialize in protective and defensive magic and uh, they look really cool um, with their spiky pauldrons here and uh, you have the engineer um, who are technological and alchemical masterminds they employ turrets, grenades, elixirs and a, and a variety of other impressive devices uh, and stuff like that and they were medium armor they use shotguns, pistols, rifles, flamethrowers, uh, stuff like that. They're really, really awesome. And uh, I have a level 12 engineer. And uh, I really like the engineer class. And uh, I think I'm going to be an Asura engineer when the game comes out. And uh, that's one other thing. Uh, the Asura and the Silvari are not playable right now. Uh, maybe they will be in another beta weekend and if they um, if they will be playable I will make uh, one video of uh, each race explaining the uh, the uh, or showing you guys the uh, customization there as well but uh, moving on we have the ranger uh, the rangers are proficient with the bow they rely on a keen eye a steady hand and the power of nature so uh, they're kind of like hunters and they have pets and uh, they're uh, really cool looking um, all the armors here that you see are really awesome um, and here uh, another familiar class if you've played the first Guild Wars the necromancer uh, and uh, they are masters of the dark arts, they summon the dead to fight for them, channel blood and energy and uh, inflict curses and uh, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, moving on we have the thief, uh, which are uh, adept at the art of uh, stealth. So they have stealth and daggers and uh, uh, short swords and uh, stuff like that uh, and uh, I think they uh, run really fast as well I don't really know and uh, they also uh, can make traps and uh, yeah moving on to the uh, last class here of the eight classes the mesmer uh, maybe one of the uh, most uh, special or uh, exclusive uh, classes and uh, they are as it says here maestros of mirage they use illusions 
and they teleport and they're all over the place. They use wands and stuff like that to um, uh, surprise their uh, enemies and uh, yeah, uh, getting some really bad frame rate drops here. Uh, so let's go ahead and fix that. And uh, then we're back. Hopefully, uh, the frame rate drops will be fixed. Will be um, fixed now. Uh, so I chose a warrior here, and uh, first off, you adjust the height of your uh, character. Not that huge. Uh, not that big of a difference um, really uh, you have the physique again not too much of a difference but uh, it's nice to have at least something uh, to adjust the uh, body size and uh, etc uh, and here you have maybe one of the um, best customization uh, options here at Guild Wars 2 uh, the uh, char fur uh, so here you can have a, a gray fur or a, a white fur and you have these patterns here so you can be a kind of like a snow tiger or maybe you want to be to have a brown stripes and uh, be dark brown here you can do that <coughs> this looks really cool um, <coughs> I might have to uh, add and uh, a lot of patterns here to choose from. And this here. Uh, it's, there we go. Uh, so you can uh, see a little better. Um, some that uh, make a lot of difference. And uh, some that are just dots and stripes. Uh, This, I really like the, the, this here, uh, so let's go ahead and pick this uh, fur, and then you have the hairstyle, so you can choose to be bald, but uh, I don't really know, uh, kind of like uh, removing the uh, mane from a lion, uh, I don't really <laughs> feel like doing that. Um, I want this to be dark brown um, so that it uh, fits the uh, fur. Uh, this hair looks really nice. Uh, and again, if I w if I wanted to, I could just go all white. Um, <coughs> would uh, look something like this. Uh, so it really makes a difference which uh, fur you choose. You, you choose. Uh, sorry, uh, I've been a bit sick uh, lately, so uh, my uh, speaking abilities are not too great today. Um, and then, of course, you have the face. There are nine faces, as you see here, not that huge uh, variety of faces, but um, at least the faces are really different from one another, so um, I really like this face, but uh, let's go ahead and choose this mean face here. Um, and I have to remind you that there are no factions here. Uh, every race uh, kind of work together. Um, there are um, no alliance or horde. Um, so uh, yeah. Then you have the horns. Uh, you can adjust the size and uh, stuff like that. Um, so let's choose this here. I really like this uh, this horn style here. Um, so let's uh, you, you can uh, adjust the air length and uh, the air thick thickness. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so they have four ears, the char, uh, and then you have the horn length. So 
so you could have really small ones or really big ones. Uh, let's choose this length here. Uh, you have the muscle and uh, the nose. So you can tilt it as you want it. Uh, as you can see here, tilt the jaw. way adjust the teeth size or the nose height at the bridge a lot of stuff here uh, it kind of customizes uh, your uh, tractor a bit further uh, so not that much of a difference but it's nice to at least have something but now comes maybe uh, one of the uh, more important parts and that is the uh, clothes uh, the dye uh, of uh, the uh, different clothing parts here um, this affects your uh, your uh, armor later as well because um, if I choose all green here uh, no matter what armor set I have, it will be green. So uh, I don't know if you can dye it later on as you could in uh, Kill Wars 1. Uh, but I would not have uh, taken the chance. Uh, so let's, let's choose brown uh, on the leather and uh, just basic steel chainmail. Uh, there we go. Uh, looking really cool. Then we get this uh, background selection here. So this kind of customizes your uh, your uh, origin story, uh, I guess, your background. Uh, this first option here is for the char only, I guess, or maybe it's for the warrior. Uh, I think yeah, I think the first option you get here is uh, the uh, is. Um, exclusive to each class so here you choose your helm or maybe you don't want a helm uh, you can have uh, these uh, pauldrons here but uh, I don't know if you can get a helm later on uh, uh, even though you choose no helm I'm not sure there but uh, so I wear no helm at all on the battlefield because of this I am recognized and given proper respect um, seems fitting uh, trouble may follow me but I use my charm dignity or ferocity to overcome it so charm of course uh, I'm charming no one can resist me when I'm at my best uh, I know just what to say to lighten the mood or bolster courage I have dignity I'm dignified even when up to my ears in mud. It makes people respect me. A serious, thoughtful demeanor is the route to success. I'm ferocious. Threatening violence gets me further than anything else. I'm a natural. I'm a natural tough. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm a natural though. I try to use my powers of intimidation for good. Uh, a bit of uh, an error there. Uh, I have uh, done this, um, I've read this several times before, but um, as I said, not at my best today. Um, I'm proud to be a Blood Legion soldier, Ash Legion or Iron Legion soldier. So this kind of um, uh, affects your weapons and your turrets and uh, stuff like that, I think. Uh, because here you see 
I'm Iron Legion. I march to the boom of war machines. The Iron Legion has ign ignited our uh, uh, industrial revolution. We perfected metalwork cans, most importantly guns. So I think the, that's where uh, this here uh, affects your uh, character. I'm not really sure, but uh, anyways, uh, some huge frame rate drops here. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. Uh, I would die for my warband, especially Maverick, Urail, Clasper, Dinky, or Riva, my sparring partner. So uh, I don't really know what this here is. Maybe it's your pet later on, because I know uh, if you're a ranger, you can choose your pet here. Uh, and um, one of the class or races, you can choose your a god here. So I really don't know exactly what, what this is, but um, choose uh, something that uh, suits you. Because no doubt this here is important, so... Uh, Let's choose this guy here. Uh, and then they tell me the soldier that sired me is a loyal soldier, sorcerer, shaman, or otherless gladium. <coughs> so uh, let's just read here. The gladium has no warband. My father turned his back on his now. <laughs> he is an armorless gladium with no respect for the chain of command. And I have no respect for him, so I guess this is your. Uh, I don't really know what this is, but uh, let's just choose this here. And then, of course, you get the name. Um, uh, so, this kind of sums up the uh, char customization, at least for the soldier, that is. And uh, I'll make one video showing you the human customization and one of the norm and uh, so yeah I guess this um, video is uh, finished now <laughs> uh, and please remember to uh, like and favorite the video if you uh, really liked it and uh, of course subscribe to both me the Mind Maniac and the Motac check us both out on Facebook and as usual I'm the Mind Maniac signing out